Uh, good evening, Doctor. Good evening, uh, everyone. My name is Hai Liang. I'm the moderator for today. Today, we have uh, Dr. Shafiq, who is from Vascular Surgery, a UMMC uh, vascular surgeon. So, uh, I was recommended to uh, include Dr. Shafiq in this uh, session by actually quite a number of people. Uh, one of my uh, seniors, Dr. Alicia, actually recommended very nice, uh, very fervently. Lah. Okay, mm. lah, so without further ado, I'll just go ahead with the cases. Okay, so everyone, can you just, uh, so Noreen, can you just move to the meeting notes? Okay, so uh, guys, uh, we will be doing this a little bit differently, like I said just now. So the three people will be doing the history taking. And then uh, I will actually set a time for them. So 30 minutes for the history and examination, 10 minutes for the summary and the, ex the investigation and management. And then uh, Dr. Shafiq will uh, observe our you know, history taking and he will decide if we pass or we fail. So everyone, everyone can contribute. Everyone can uh, say, uh, you know, volunteer to give uh, questions to us. So that we don't fail. So, uh, so without further ado, so uh, Noreen, can you just uh, go to the meeting notes real quick? Then I can start the timer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll start the meeting. Yeah. Uh, I start the. Sorry. I'll start the. Okay, so I'll read the prompt to you. Okay, now, Mr. Yeah. Lau, a 62-year-old man, presented the clinic with one week history of ulcer on the left leg. So your job is to take a complete history and perform the expert. No, take a history only. So you have 30 minutes. Leave some for the examination. Uh -huh. Okay, you can start. Okay, um, hi, good evening. I'm Sharifa. I'm a fourth year medical student. So, uh, Mr. Lau, uh, I'll be asking you a few questions on what you got you here today. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. So, you're 62 years old, am I correct? Yep. Okay. So, uh, tell me a bit more. Uh, you mentioned that you came in with an ulcer on the left leg. So, um, for the past uh, one week, is it, that you noticed? Yeah, one week. Before that, uh, uh, were you aware that you had an ulcer or... Oh no, before that, no house, sir. Actually, this started as a small scrap money because I was going to econ safe. The shopping cart cut me a bit. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. I thought it would heal, but it didn't heal. And then now it grew to about 50 cents. Okay. So previously, it was just a small cut and now it grew to 50 cents. Yep. Okay. So um, anything, uh, is there only one cut or is there multiple? Uh, it's like a scratch, lah, not really a cut. Just okay. All right. All right. So... Um, did you, uh, was it painful? Uh, you mean now or what? When the moment that you had the, the, the cut, and then now that it yeah. became an ulcer? Yeah, just yes. a little bit. Okay, just a little bit of pain. At the time. Okay, at the time. So what about now? Now, now it's quite painful. So I started to take a uh, Ponstan from the over the counter. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's a bit better, but still quite painful. Okay, so even with Ponstan, uh, it's still painful, is it? Yep. How many, uh, how often do you take Ponstan? Is it every day? Uh, when I feel pain, I'll take lah. Okay. Uh, is the pain also present? Uh, uh, does, is the pain present at all times or is it only on specific times when you walk? Or? Oh, uh, if I walk, it'll be a bit more painful lah, but I'm taking a Ponstan, right, so I can walk. Okay. Does the pain wake you up at night when you sleep? Oh, yeah, I have to take some, uh, I have to take Ponstan at night because I cannot sleep. Even with my constant, I still cannot sleep. Okay. Uh, so even when you're resting at home, so you have the pain, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, do you notice any discharge coming out of the on the ulcer area? Uh, yeah, actually, there is some yellowish uh, liquid coming out. Okay, yellowish. Uh, when did you notice this? Uh, about three days ago. Three days ago. I'm sorry, uh, the ulcer is on the left leg, right? Where exactly uh, yeah. is it? Yeah. Uh, it's on the shin, uh, shin, on the shin. On the shin, so on the front part. Yeah, yeah. on the front. Okay. Uh, other than that, you mentioned that you had pain and you noticed uh, some yellowish discharge. 
Do you mm-hmm. experience um, any, do you smell, is there any odd smell coming off? I don't go and smell lah. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, um, this is the first time that you had an ulcer like this or previously have you also had an ulcer? Uh, previously no ulcer lah, but my leg, you know, kena potong lah. I see. Which leg also is this? Also on the left leg. Also on the left leg. Was it a yeah. toe? What? Was it a toe that got cut off? A two, a toe, oh, uh, two toes. Yeah, my fourth and my fifth toe. Fourth and fifth toe, I see. Uh, why was it cut off? It became black. Uh. Became black, I see. Um, do you have any underlying diabetes? Yeah, I have diabetes. Okay, all right. Um, other than that, do you experience any fever or? Yeah, any... fever started three days ago. Fever started three days ago, okay. So when the discharge started, also you uh, started to have fever, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you uh the the fever uh do you get chills and uh sweat a lot? Uh no lah, just fever lah, normal fever. Do you take paracetamol and was it relieved by it? Uh no lah, no. Okay. Um. Okay. When you sleep at night, do you experience uh a lot of sweating? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Um. Other than that, um, uh, on the on the color of your uh, on the on your left leg where the ulcer is, is there any other uh, skin changes around the ulcer? Is it started to become black or? Started to become black? No, 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 just normal lah. Normal. Ulcer, ulcer. Okay. Any redness? A bit lah around the edge lah. That's it though. Okay. Uh, any uh, itchiness in the area? Oh, la, painful ah. How to be itchy? Okay, so uh, other than that, anything else that concerns you? Any numbness in your left leg? Numbness? Numbness, long time already lah. Numbness got a bit lah, you know, the diabetes ma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so how long have you had diabetes? Diabetes ah, wow, long time already ah. So long, I forgot already, since when? Okay, uh, was it like 10 years, 20 years? Uh, I don't know, something like that lah, I guess. Okay, uh, are you on insulin? Yeah, on insulin and on metformin. Okay, insulin and metformin. Any recent uh, changes in dosage of your insulin? I don't know that one. Uh. You have to Do ask you... my wife. Uh. I don't oh, know. I see. So your wife helps to administer medication for you, is it? Yeah, la, I just follow la, whatever. La. Okay. Uh, do you take your insulin every day? Any missing out doses? Or... Don't you already, right? Don't ask my wife. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, other than that, um, so you have numbness uh, in both of your legs. Uh, any, does that cause you to frequently have falls and injure your foot? Mm, no, I still can walk, uh, can drive for more. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. Um, and, any, uh, heart, any heart problems in the past? Heart problem, uh, one year plus I got. Okay, uh, what, what happened? Was it a heart attack? Uh, chest pain, uh, you know, normal chest pain. Not sure what, uh, chest pain. Then I went and then they said, oh, you take these two medication and then uh, that's it. Uh, I didn't do any surgery. Okay, no surgery done. Okay, other than that, any uh, recent surgeries besides that? Uh, the potong kaki. Uh. Okay, other than that? Uh, uh, no more, no more. Okay, all right. So uh, ever since uh, that you went for the amputation, uh, how about the area that um, was uh, amputated? Uh, is it uh, uh, properly healed or... Um, I don't know. You, doctor, you tell me. Eh? Okay, I'll have a look later. So, um, other than that, mm. uh, besides diabetes, um, do you have high, uh, high blood pressure? High blood pressure, got taking medication also. Okay, uh, I mean, is it, have you, how long have you been diagnosed with it? Just to get a rough idea. Also a long time, uh, since the diabetes time. Lah. Okay. Uh, uh, any family history of uh, any... Uh, heart problems. Uh, I mean, does this run in your family? Your diabetes, hypertension, you know? I, that one, I'm not sure. Uh, but I know my sister get cancer. Uh, the uterine cancer, you know? Oh, yeah, Passed okay. away already. I see. Sorry. I think I got cancer, uh, doctor. I'll have to evaluate you further to know. Can't give a definite answer yet. Okay, so um, besides that, uh, can I know, um, do you have... Um, uh, cholesterol levels, do you take any medication for your high cholesterol? I think so, not sure. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, besides the metformin, insulin for your hypertension and also for your, uh, maybe for your uh, cholesterol, is there anything else that you take for medication? Mm, I think only four, la, eat one. Four okay. types for the, for the oral, then mm. one pitcher one. Okay. So, um, do you have any allergies to any medication or? Oh, yeah, I allergic to seafood. Okay. What, what happens when you? Take? Not a bit itchy here and there. I see. Okay. Uh, uh, can I know if you're currently working? You're sixty-two years old, right? Mhm. Mm are you Are you retired or are you still working? Uh, pension ready now. I see. Uh, previously, what were you working as? Previously, yeah. Previously, I work as a, uh, you know, just a businessman, lah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can I know if you smoke or uh, take alcohol, sir? Yeah, I smoke. Uh, alcohol a little bit, lah, once in a while. Okay. Well, uh, can you tell me more about your smoking habits? Uh, how many pack a mm. day? Actually, I stopped smoking already, yeah. I stopped smoking since about. One year ago, la, since the heart attack. Uh, but previously, I smoked for about uh, 28 years. Like that. I smoked uh, about one and a half pack per day. Okay. Oh, so, ever since quitting, you have not started back? Or... Mm, no, no. Okay. Uh, what about you? Only a social link. Okay. All right. Um, other than that, is there anything else that concerns you? Mm, you don't want to ask more about my pain? Yeah, uh, so the pain you mentioned um, that it starts uh, started ever since the cut and you you have uh, you have pro problems sleeping at night and you take Ponstan, right? Mm -hmm. So can you tell me um, how bad does the pain go up to on a scale of 1 being a minimal pain and 10 being the most painful? Actually, yeah, the ulcer pain are not so painful. Uh. You know, 3 days ago, uh, I got a pain in my toe, which is more painful. Okay, which toe is this? The third toe. The third toe, okay. Uh, so pain in the toe, uh, it was sudden, was it? Very painful, is it? Uh, yeah, quite painful. But now taking constant, uh, still actually quite painful. Okay, uh, any uh, color changes of the toe that you notice? The color looks okay to me, I'm not sure. I see, any um, like purplish or... Uh, any, any anything that you notice that nothing lah. Okay lah, nothing lah. Okay. Um, what about the other toes? Is everything okay? Other toes okay, just the third toe only painful. Don't know okay. why. Okay. Um, I think that's too much it. Oh ah, you have. Okay lah, yeah. give you a few more minutes. Anyone wants to help her? Anything else? Anything? Okay, uh, can, can I interrupt there? Yeah, sure, doctor. Okay, uh, apa tadi Sharifah? Eh? Uh, yes, doctor. Sharifah, nak panggil Sharifah. Oh, Sharifah. yeah, sure. Okay, um, can you, you, you are happy with your, your, your history taking. Can you sort of tell me roughly what have you got so far? So, so far, Mr. Lau's 62-year-old uh, uh, male presented with one week history of and also on his left shin. And yeah. it was associated with, uh, it was preceded by a, a trauma where it was just a small cut and has progressively mm. become an ulcer mm. of a 50 cent coin. Mm. And it was associated with uh, pain mm. uh, on the rest and also night pain that needed to be relieved with Ponstan and still the pain would would still be present after taking constant every day. Mm. And he has also been experiencing the other which discharge from the area of the ulcer for the past three days, mm. uh, associated with fever and also uh, severe pain of the, of the third toe. And he has mm. an underlying history of uh, diabetes mellitus and mm. an amputation of the fourth and fifth left toe. Mm. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that all that you, you got so far? And um, 
I guess uh, on the pain that it's worse with uh, pain is worse with um, with movements and uh, it's better with yeah. Okay, now I would want you to do a simple summary of what have you got so far, just in one sentence from your history taking only. Can you do a summary in just one sentence? That, yeah, can you, can you do that? Okay. Uh... Um, Mr. Lau, 62-year-old um, gentleman with underlying diabetes mellitus mm. uh, and history of amputation uh, of his fourth and fifth left toe presented with a one-week history of uh, ischemic uh, Maybe you can tell us what the underlying she had. Uh, it, yeah, I mentioned um, diabetes and yeah, mm -hmm. diabetes and hypertension. Mm -hmm. Okay. You presented with what? Presented with a uh, one week history of. Ulcer. Yeah, ulcer on. Uh, yes. Left. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, and then associated with. Associated with uh, perlin per discharge and fever. Okay. Okay. So, from your history, from your summary, can you tell me what is your what what is running through your mind? Can you tell me at least two lah, two two of your diagnosis from your history? We don't have to go to physical examination yet. From your history, can you tell me what is running through your mind? What diagnosis is running through your mind? Can you provide me with two, at least two? Okay, so uh, it's more of an art. Uh, uh, ischemic ulcer uh, on the basis that it was started okay. off as painful. So you're thinking of ischemic ulcer now? Yes. Okay, ischemic ulcer means that probably uh, the uh, arterial cause. Arterial cause, okay, number one. But that is not a diagnosis, lah. I will tell you in short, uh, at the end. Number two, what is running to your mind? A neuropathic. Okay, okay. Any other things that you need to so probably you think of diabetic foot ulcer or something related to neuropathic? Okay, the third one would be a venous. Ah, okay, so it probably is some chronic venous insufficiency. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got these three diagnoses running through your mind now. Have you sort of from your history taking sort of uh, rule out each one of that? Uh, I asked a few questions on the pain. So the pain uh, was quite severe, mm -hmm. uh, pointed that it could be an ischemic cause and the area also was on the anterior shin. Okay. And there were no um, other skin changes around the ulcer, no itchiness and of that sort. Okay. And, um, so these three are running through your mind. Have you asked something about Venus? What did you didn't you ask about venous? Uh, varicose. Yes. Veins. Whether the patient has complained of anything like any varicosities, any swelling of blood veins, uh, blood vessel in the leg. Is it true? You mm. haven't asked about that, again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you haven't asked about that. Okay, so keep your mind open when you take history. Mm -hmm. So, did you ask about intermittent claudication? Uh, he did have uh, pain on pain on walking. The pain is worse on walking. Okay. Do you determine whether there's any claudication distance? Oh no. Distance. So, the thing that you need to ask about is that first you have to ask you. So when you take history, okay. When you take history, number one, uh, can I share my screen? Oh, yeah, sure, doctor. Uh, Nurin. Can I share my screen? Uh, you need to press the rectangle with the arrow pointing up. Rectangle pointing up. Okay, huh? I share my screen. Yeah. Um, screen share. Can you guys see my screen? Uh, no. I mean, your entire screen, entire screen. 
share with you. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so um, I've listened to your 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 history taking, which is quite decent, lah. If, if you ask me for medical student level, it's quite decent, but okay, lah. You know, uh, not yeah. not bad until you fail, uh, but still okay, you can pass, lah. But uh, I mean, in reality, in real life, probably you find a bit difficult because uh, the aim of taking history is the first one is to get a provisional diagnosis and differential diagnosis. That is very important. When you take history, your aim must be right. You're not going to beat around the bush. You're going to get a proper history taking to get you a diagnosis. That, does, is that clear? Yes, Doctor. Okay, first of all, when you when you ask the patient, the first thing that comes out from the patient's mouth, ulcer, at leak. And that is the main complaint, right? Yes. Leak ulcer. So, when the patient opens up his mouth that he has ulcer at the leak, in your mind, you should have actually provided three differential diagnoses already. Okay, and I agree with you. Number one is either is arterial. Number three, number two is either venous, and the last one probably neuropathic. So your history taking should spend most of the time getting a diagnosis. Understand? Mm -hmm. You should have asked about arterial, which is intermittent claudication, rest pain. Okay, associated with what whatever that is necessary. Venus is most likely that you ask about about the about the varicose vein now, whether they have varicose vein or not. Neuropathic is sometimes a bit difficult to to differentiate while taking history, but that is quite important. So what usually we want is that when you get your history of presenting complaint, history of presenting complaint, this thing is very important. There are four components of history of presenting complaint. First of all, if you spend most of your time, probably around 10 to 15 minutes, just to get a diagnosis. If you cannot get your diagnosis within that 15 minutes, then you are wrong in your history taking. Understand? Okay. And the second one is to get risk factor. What is the risk factor for this patient to develop an ulcer? Yes, uh, diabetes mellitus. Um, long standing on insulin. Okay, like any, anything else? Uh, he has also uh, amputation. Okay, yes, that's, that's very important. Lagi? Anything else? Other than that, uh, I mean, uh, on the arterial side, he, uh, we don't know if he has uh, this, um, high uh, this, this epidemia or not. Bio you should ask about, about that. Lagi? Anything else? Smoking? Yes, he's an ex-smoker. Right? He's, he's telling you he's an ex-smoker. So, establish the risk factor. Okay, because this history taking is about getting a diagnosis. The second thing is that what causes the diagnosis. And lastly, is that you should also know what is complicated now. What what history that is he is he's been telling you? He has been having fever and discharge yeah. for the past three having days. Fever and what is the most likely thing that is actually bothering him now? The the pain, the severe pain. Yeah. What is the cause of the fever and what is the likely cause of the purulent discharge? The ulcer is not infected. Yes. So now you already established that he's, he's probably is having some form of complication from the ulcer, which is infection. Probably he's having cellulitis. Probably he's having, probably he's having osteomyelitis. Understand? Yeah. Uh, all this is very important to, for you to tell. And then, and lastly, I, I am stressing this for you guys also because this is going to be relevant in your clinical practice as well on, is that patient will, you need to ask them what have they did with that complaint before? Have they went to any GPs? Have they went to seek any treatment? Have they been going to 
around going to BOMO or something, have they already had a scan, have the intervention been done before? This is very important as, as a clinical practitioner later on. Okay? Probably not in your in your phys in your exam because in the exam probably the examiner will stop you because patient sometimes will tell you they already had this uh, diabetic foot ulcer whatsoever and all that. So that, that is not the aim for medical student history taking. But bear in mind that this is very component, it's very important. Okay. All right. That's all. I think uh she 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 Liang. Can you proceed the next one? Hi Liang, yeah. I stop sharing. Okay, so next will be uh, Regina. Hi. Regina. Hi, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so Regina will start the exam. Okay, so uh, let's just see the, okay. So I've already written the general examination and vital signs already. Lah. So you uh, don't really need to. Okay, so I resume the time. Okay. So right now you're doing examination. What do you want to do? Then there uh, already, right? General, yeah, general is there. Then uh, go to peripheral vascular examination. Start by um, inspection. Okay, what do you want to see? Uh, see if both legs are symmetrical. Okay, symmetrical. Uh, any skin changes? Uh, there is some redness around the ulcer on the left leg. Uh, aside from that, any color, any other color changes, maybe cyanosis, blue, 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 turn black. Uh, yeah, actually there is uh, some discoloration, some uh, darkening of the skin around the shin on both legs. Okay, any pale blue gutters, like lines? No. No, uh, um... Any bruises? No. Any eczema? No. Uh, any lipodermatosclerosis? Mm, I cannot tell you that lah. You have to ask me what. Ah, uh, okay. Like necrosis skin. Okay, yeah, but what, what exactly what you will see? Inflammation, induration. Okay. Interest. No, no, I mean like surface level. What, what will you see? Uh, hello. Surface level. Uh, thickening. Okay. So you're asking me, is that thickening? Yeah. Okay, now your inspection based on you don't really, can't really see uh, yeah. it thickening. What else can okay. you see on inspection? Uh, any scars? No. Aside from the two um, digit yeah. amputations? No. No. Uh, what about the stump? Is it healing well? The yeah, well healing. No, well healing. no keloid, no hypertrophic changes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, any swelling? Swelling? Around the leg what? area. No? Symmetrical what? Symmetrical, okay. Uh, maybe both swollen what? <laughs> um, the okay. toenails, is it brittle or just dystrophic? Uh, toenails are dystrophic on the left leg. Uh, right leg a bit less dystrophic, but still dystrophic lah. Okay. Uh, any loss of hair? Uh, no. Both no. also no hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, any muscle wasting? Uh, no. Symmetrical, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all oh, no, no, nothing. Any deformities in joint, bone? No. Nope. Uh, any fistula that can be seen? Mm, not. Far as you can see. Any dilated veins? No. No. Okay, uh, now go to the ulcer. Okay. Inspect the ulcer. Okay, wait, uh, okay. Look at the size. Okay, so size 3 to 3 cm by 2 cm. Side, where exactly? Uh, Side, anterior, anterior shin, right? Yeah, mid anterior shin. Okay. Uh, the shape? Shape, ah, round. Round. Uh, the edges? Okay, you feel the edges, it's punched out. It's punched out. 
Uh, any discharge? Yes, there is some discharge. Uh, what color is the discharge? Uh, it's a bit too thin, you cannot really see. Too little. Oh. Any foul smell? Uh, no. Um, the depth, is it very uh, deep or is it very shallow? Quite deep. It's quite deep. Uh. If asked to measure. Oh, measure. Didn't really measure, uh, so skip that one. Quite deep, uh, but can, uh, at the base, can see anything like bones, tendon, ligament? No, you can only see slough at the yeah, slough at the base. Can see slough, uh, so it's like yellow. Uh. Yeah. Okay, any granulation mm. tissue, pink, pink color? No. No, okay. Uh, cannot see tender or anything? Uh? No. Okay. Uh, what about the surrounding skin? Just now say it's erythematous, right? Yeah. Aside from that, anything else? Yeah, aside from that, you need to tell me what you want to see. Uh, okay, uh, go, ahead, go, ahead to, go ahead to palpation. You already see what you want to see. Can you oh, okay. tell us what you want to palpate? Oh, okay. Mm. Palpation, uh, feel for temperature. Okay. Temperature, uh, bilater uh, uh, bilaterally warm. Warm. Oh, sorry, uh, left leg is cold. Left leg is colder. Oh, okay. Uh, capillary refill time? More than two seconds. More than two seconds. Uh... Any joint pain? Palpate for joint pain? No. no. Actually, you, you cannot really palpate the left left third toe because he says it's very sensitive and painful. So he don't want you to touch the toe at all, the foot at all. Actually. Oh okay. Um. Then palpate for pulse. Dorsalis tibis. tibis. Uh. It's not palpable. Posterior tibial artery not palpable. Femoral pulse felt. Uh, he's a bit obese, so the Popita also really cannot feel. Okay. Uh, this is for left leg, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, um, no very close veins, so no impression. Uh, or palpate for any bruise. Would you would you palpate anywhere else? Pulses. The ulcer. Else? The ulcer. No, would you palpate for the pulses for anywhere else apart from the left leg? The carotid artery, maybe. Ah, I wouldn't go so far, lah. But anything, anywhere else that you want to palpate for the pulse. Abdominal aorta. Okay, one. Then where else? And uh, where else? I um, give you a clue. Would you like to palpate is other? place apart from his left lower limb? Uh, the radial pulse. Okay, radial pulse. Okay, okay, okay. This is part of examination also. Radial, all the other radial, like brachial, ulna, all that. Mm -hmm. Apart from the left leg. Right leg. The right leg. <laughs> ah, oh, why is it important to palpate the other side also? Uh, to compare. What if you find the right side got the pulse is two plus and the left side is not there? What 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 is running to your mind? Stenosis. No la. You can feel the right side. Usually, if it's a uh, atherosclerotic, would you happen bilaterally or it be happen unilaterally? Unilateral. Sure. Bilateral. Usually, it's bilateral. Usually it's bilateral. If let's say it's a chronic limb, it's usually it's bilateral. Okay, probably the signal by doing Doppler is different. Okay, but usually you won't get past probably both of the, the leg you cannot feel because we are atherosclerotic cannot just happen in one side only. Understand? Yeah, yeah. So the clue is if you palpate the left leg, always palpate the right side. You can compare also. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Alcutate. Alcutate for what? Sorted for bruy. Bruy where? Bruy over all the houses. Hmm? 
all the like DP, uh, door service PDs. Hey, for man, you don't, you don't park, you don't escalate there, lah. It, it looks very weird. <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't really do it, but people say that if you can, you can listen to the adapter canal. Hunter oh, Kenal yeah. uh, for Femoral Brewery, but I, I don't really do it lah, but um, I mean, I don't know, for, for medical student, probably something like a showmanship only lah, but mm. nothing of benefit. Uh, but you can, if, if you are pressed on it, you can go ahead lah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we are running out of time. We just have about 7 plus 15, 22 minutes. Uh, Hi Liang, can, can, can we go straight to summary ya? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Doctor. Ha, so, you, go uh, ahead. you pick someone to give us a summary of what is the 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 Okay, what sure. The likely have happening with this patient. Okay, so Emily. Emily. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Emily. I'm a third year medical student. Uh, currently doing surgery posting. So, uh, I will try my best here. So, um, for this case. Uh, this is Mr. Lo, uh, a 62-year-old gentleman with history of long-standing diabetes, hypertension, uh, dyslipidemia, and also amputated uh, left fourth and fifth toe, uh, came to the clinic complaining of uh, a, a painful ulcer that is located on the left chin. And the ulcer is about a 50 cent size um, and is associated with discharge. Uh, that uh, uh, the discharge is yellowish liquid and associated with fever that started three days ago and also uh, he Emily, also Emily, complains of Emily, that, that is not a summary that is uh, uh, telling all the story all over again oh, oh okay, okay you need to do summary summary one sentence only or two sentence uh, can you can you summarize Okay, uh, let me try to summarize again. So this is Mr. Lo, a 62-year-old gentleman with a uh, history of long-standing hypertension, diabetes, uh, amputated left fourth and fifth toe, uh, came to the clinic with a painful ulcer on the left shin on his uh, associated with fever and also uh, numbness on his physical examination. It is found that the. Sorry, can you go to the physical examination? Uh, uh, on the physical examination, th there is a uh, darkening of the skin on the sheen of bone flakes. Uh, and the left toe stump is well healing. The ulcer is uh, punched out, uh, very regular. Uh, sorry regular ages and uh, there seem to be a little discharge and uh, the base has a yellow sloth and the surrounding skin is irritimitous. Yeah, it's not a summary. Oh, uh, you are uh, telling all over again. Uh, uh, okay, I will try again at the physical examination part. Uh. So, so this patient uh, has a ulcer on the left shin that is a punch out regular ages uh, with uh, little discharge and uh, with pulselessness over the left leg, uh, capillary refill time of more than two seconds. That and is not a summary. Uh, uh, no. uh, you understand uh, the summary should uh, okay, it's okay, uh, doesn't matter, but probably a bit nervous or something, uh, probably. Uh. Um, uh, that is not a summary. Summary should consist of just one or two sentences. Understand? Oh, okay. Because uh, what happened in your exam is that if you go for exam, sometimes when it's already at the end of exam, uh, examiner will be exhausted. Mm. So probably they have to spend 10 candidates in the morning and then afternoon. They are really fed up sometimes. They will just ask you, can you memorize the history? Or physical examination. So you need to be getting about one or two centers only. Okay. Okay, you, you understand what I mean? You only okay. need one or two centers. Can I share my screen? Yeah, I can, Doctor. Okay. 
share my screen ah jap Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see already. Okay, now. Uh, sorry. Uh, summary is very concise. You have to state one demographic. This is Mr. Lau, 62 year old man. Okay? If you want to put Chinese, put Chinese lah, but if I don't really put. So, Mr. Lau, 62 year old man. Or if you have Madam Chu. 70 year old female understand first start off with a background a demographic and then you go with background history of what which is relevant to your diagnosis understand what is relevant here diabetes what is relevant here hypertension dyslipidemia ex smoker okay okay you guys understand yeah, yeah. Okay, with background history of diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and he's a smoker. Presented with ulcer at the left leg with how many duration? Associated with what? With pain, fever, pain and fever. Probably like you want to say associated with pain. If you want to be really specific, you want to say associated with rest pain and fever. Understand? Okay. Yes. Yes, it's quite concise. You don't have to. You don't have to go and beat around the bush and tell everything about the his history all over again. Ham, understand? Ah, yes, with sir. Physical, yes, sir. Okay, with physical examination findings of you want to put just positive history, positive findings. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and you don't have to tell about CRT and all that. Here, you want to state that. You want to say that physical examination finding suggestive of ischemic ulcer. Again, yes, uh, you guys uh, get what what I'm talking about, right? Eh? Yeah. Yes. Physical, yes, examination, physical examination finding suggestive of ischemic ulcer as evidence by. Wah 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 what? Understand? Yes. As evidence by diminished pulse. As evidence by uh, loss of hair. As evidence by less than CRT or gangrene or whatsoever. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, that that looks very professional. It looks like oh you are you are very good. We are English. You are very good in your summary. Uh, summary. And not only that, complicated with what? Adjustive or ischemic ulcer as evidenced by now complicated with what is he having now? Infection. Yes. Complicated with cellulitis. Understand? Right. Yes, doctor. You will end up your last sentence my provisional diagnosis will be what now? Chronic limb Threatening ischemia is a new nomenclature for critical limb ischemia. You, you guys understand? Okay. It's a, yeah. it's a new nomenclature. So I, I think it's a very long story. Um, but that one, I can, I can give you a, the paper, full paper on it. But I think that one, we'll talk about it. I mean, when we have time. But I, I don't think we, our benefit, our, our session now is mainly about history taking, physical examination. Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. This one out my really complicated with what cellulitis infection or something. My differential diagnosis would be what, and then you probably state about your venous ulcer, BFU, understand? Yes, sir. Okay, copy this this summary. Copy this summary. It will also be relevant to other discipline. Understand? Mm, yes, yeah. sir. Okay, your your job now when you go back to your when you go back, when you, oh no, you go back, you don't go back. You already in your home. So uh, when you when you uh, are sitting down at your home, try to make yourself very comfortable with your English. It's me. I'm not very good with my English, so I will write down 
what is the best for me to talk so that I talk the same thing all over again. Okay, this is how I summarize ever since my medical student. So this is what I do. I will write the same thing. I, I just fill up the blank. That's all. It's been my habit this time. Okay, so you yourself, if you are not good in your English, start practicing now how to devise your 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 summary. Okay, all right. Okay, doctor. Okay, uh, uh, Hailyang, anything else? Mm, I think uh, no, not really. So it's nine nine p.m. ready. So I think that's enough, lah, doctor. Thank you, okay. uh, doctor, for for willing to teach us like this. Okay, I, I think we have uh, can 9.15, can? Another 12 minutes, can? That's it, lah. Mm, yeah. We have 12 more minutes. Okay, I, 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 I open the floor to any question that you would like to ask regarding the history and physical animation. Okay, anybody have any questions? If not, because I have... I have I just have a few questions, uh, mm. so if you don't mind. Uh, okay, so uh, I've read through the, a few textbooks, and mm. I just have a few questions about the science. So first, first of all, I just want to know uh, how to clinically di differentiate between a lipodermatosclerosis and uh, a normal discoloration. Hmm, it's a bit difficult, huh? Mm, Cause yeah. it looks black. Hello. Yeah, 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 doctor. Uh, both looks black. Um, normal discoloration. Uh, it's a bit difficult. But what what science can it provide is that venous ulcer has venous or very varicose vein problem has has many other things accompanied with it. If you go and have a look, what is the typical venous ulcer location? Over the gate the area. Yeah, medial leg. Medial leg near the medial medullaris there. So that points to you that's possibly a venous problem, venous ulcer. Other thing is that probably some varicose vein will show up. So you need to examine the patient while the patient stand up. Okay? Yeah, Ask the patient to stand up. And then if you see varic vein ulcer at the middle of the leg, of the medial medullaris, ask the patient to stand up straight away. Find, look hard for varicose vein. Okay, look hard for varicose vein. If there's varicose vein there and there's, there's black surrounding around the ulcer, it's likely it's a venous problem, lipodermatosclerosis. Commit to it. Say that it's lipodermatosclerosis. Oh. Okay, commit to it. If let's say the black thing is somewhere near the toes, then it's a different story. La. It looks like gangrene. Okay? Okay. So my, my point is, if you want to commit yourself this is a venous ulcer, it has to accompany it with other things that like a venous, ah, like you can see varicose vein, you can see that the area is very typical, that that is very telltale sign of this is a venous ulcer. Okay? Okay. Uh, so, doctor, my second question is um, uh, like auscultation of brewery, is it reliable for clinical practice? Not reliable. I'm not doing that. Oh no. Ah, uh, but you can show lah. If some some examiners are not surgeon, so probably they are just probably physician or somebody, and then uh, they're probably reading an old textbook. Probably they want you to perform that lah. So uh, just put your stethoscope there lah, uh, and act like you are you you find something. That's all. Okay. <laughs> but you can do definitely. Uh, but it's not reliable in clinical practice. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is my last question. So um, based on uh, uh, this is a question that I don't really understand. So why arterial Doppler they have three phases, but venous Doppler has one or two phases? I'm not quite sure about that. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, for, I forgot to tell you guys the one who did the physical examination just now should at the end of the examination should uh tell about that they are offering to do something like I would like to complete my examination by doing Doppler examination and ABSI that is very important in 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 lower limb uh, vascular examination okay yeah okay so the signal will be different now nah, because artery has pulses and then the wave usually comes with monophasic biphasic and triphasic but uh, but venous when you put your your 
your Doppler at vein, it will goes up and down with respiration. And mm-hmm. if, uh, if you put the femoral artery, it will zoop zoop. That is a uh, biphasic zoop zoop zoop. Then will be triphasic. But if you put at the venous, if the patient is not breathing, it will stop. But if the patient breathe, it goes up. Oh. And that's that's how you tell this a uh, vein vein or it's actually a uh, artery lah. But I don't think it's something relevant to you because uh, probably the examiner also does not does not know how to do so lah. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay, you don't have to know about that that much lah. But as long as you tell that you want to do Doppler examination, that will be good enough already. Okay. Okay, doctor. Oh, uh, sorry. One last question. Uh, sorry. Uh, hmm. So, uh, from what I've read is that the anatomical knowledge of the artery and the vein is important during management because you need to know where to cut and which one to ligate. So, uh, do we need to differentiate for that for our level? Differentiate what? Uh, the, like, uh, is it at the saphino femoral uh, junction or is it at the popliteal junction uh, the, for the vein? Uh? Uh, of course, anatomy is important. Uh. Anatomy is important for you guys. So, so, so if they ask you where site of incompetence, you should be able to say that saphino femoral junction or saphino popliteal junction, all that lah. Hmm? Then you should be able to tell where's the surface marking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That is very important, especially pulses lah. If I bet you 100%, if you get this kind of this kind of uh, case in your long case, uh, when you are about to palpate your pulse. You should be able to tell them the surface marking without them asking. You understand? Oh, okay. You, you when you about to palpate for the pulse, you should be able to tell that I would like to feel for the femoral pulse, which is located at the mid inguinal point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you you don't have to uh, wait for them to ask you that question. They will ask you that question definitely, hundred percent. I'm very sure they will ask you that question. Mm. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, if mid mid inguinal point is between what and what? Asis and also pivot symphysis. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's mean going point. Mid point and going ligament is different story pula. That is another thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, that should be a hernia. Something related to the hernia lah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I guess uh, I have another five minutes lah. Any more question lah? Okay, so no, Nabila has a question. Uh. Yeah. Uh, unmute yourself. Thank you for the opportunity, Dr. and Haliang. Um, okay. In relation to Haliang's questions earlier, which is related to the anatomy, I would like to ask the relevance of doing tourniquet tests in order to check for the exact location of yeah. the venous insufficiency. Mm. Would it still be relevant these days? Yeah, yeah, it's relevant. Re- relevant. It's relevant. It's relevant for, physic- it's relevant for uh, medical student examination. Probably not relevant to a daily clinical practice. Hello? Doctor, yes. Thank uh, you. So it's relevant for phys- for medical student examination because they cannot ask you how to do a duplex scan. Mm-hmm. They will ask you to do a tunica examination. But in my clinical practice, I don't usually do that because I have an ultrasound. Mm-hmm. Okay? But, but having said that, tunica test sometimes has its flaw. But what else you can ask if you get a varicose vein? What else can they ask? They will ask you to do a tunicate test. Lah. So it's very relevant. All right. For you guys to know how to do. Okay? All right. All right. Uh, it's not very, it's very difficult for me to teach you how to do a tunicate test now because I think it's better to meet in person and we go and see bedside because now it's very difficult for me to tell you now. Okay? Yes, I understand. Okay, Thank so you, doctor. To answer your question, it's very relevant because it's if you get a very close vein in your exam, it's definitely you're going to be asked about the test. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Any question? Anyone else has any questions? So, if no questions, we can call it a day. Lah. Hey, hey, bloggy, bloggy. I, I haven't gone to the investigation and oh, management. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go <laughs> fast because I think... Uh, when I discuss this with Hai Liang, I, I would want you guys to polish and be, be very good with your history and physical examination and how to summarize. Yeah, that very important. History and physical examination, get your aim right and how to summarize. If you're not good in your English, make sure you go and write any, anywhere, uh, write in your notebook and try to rehearse every day. Okay, um, basically, 
if you want to go how to investigate i think as a as a distinction student um when you already finish giving your my differential diagnosis are venous ulcer and diabetic foot ulcer you straight away talk i would like to investigate this patient uh by two by two methods or probably i would like to divide my investigation you don't have to wait for them to ask you how to investigate understand yes doctor you straight away talk the aim of examination is keep on talking okay so you say that i would like to divide my investigation into three things this is quite relevant to other things other discipline but probably in vascular probably others is not relevant lah so make sure that you when you talk that i would like to divide my subject to three uh, one is biochemistry imaging and then suddenly you don't know what you want to talk about so make sure you you don't don't blurt out lah di di your grave so biochemistry bloods probably if you want to take urine urine but this one probably relevant is bloods kan ya yeah, doktor probably for blood count looking at the white cell count because this patient probably having cellulitis or stomatitis and all kan in her mm-hmm. function okay so uh, that one uh, is, is understandable i think you guys go and help me this is very standard eh? imaging what you would like to do so uh, maybe and an... hello actually relevant here mm, not no not really ah actually where chest x ray No, I'll go. Let's say three. Next three what? Next three of the limb maybe. Three of the foot lah. I thought about OM tadi kan? Yeah. Ah. Uh, so you want to see OM changes in the foot. Understand? Yes, doctor. Relevant. Very relevant. Always go back. Go back to your basic X-ray. And then does ultrasound relevant here? No. Yeah, probably oh, some some cancer will like say very quite relevant, but you what we want to say duplex ultrasound. Okay, what else? What's after ultrasound? CT or MRI maybe? Ah, uh, you don't go to MRI lah. Probably, probably that one is gonna do your own grade. But if you are distinction student, probably you can go there. But it's a CT angiogram. It's a specific. Indication to this, okay, which is one diagnose. You want to confirm your diagnosis of confirm diagnosis. This, this is standard, ah. Huh? If somebody asks you about why you do CT scan, one number one to confirm diagnosis. Number two plan for. Number two, plan for intervention. Okay, you guys can can you guys get me? Yes, doctor. Uh, that's yes, doctor. Also, that's also relevant for other discipline. Contoh, ah, huh? say you want to say for colorectal cancer, I would like to do a CT abdomen pelvis to confirm my diagnosis of colon cancer. Okay, and the second thing is for me to plan my invest intervention later on. Okay, what intervention you want to do? Probably you want to do surgery, or probably you want to do stenting, something like that, lah. You know? Mm, yeah, doctor. Okay, that's what. Then, I mean, if you want to read more, probably there's there's probably conventional angiogram, MRA. That one, I'm not talking about that, lah. Not your level. Conventional angiogram, MRA. That one, probably something which is quite high end. Okay, suffice to say that. If you go into investigation, you would like to divide your investigation into three, uh, but probably in this this thing is about biochemistry and also imaging lah. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, and just simply talk about management. I think in 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 this particular patient, which is CLPI, is having chronic limb threatening ischemia. First of all, you divide your management into four. Okay. Yeah. Number one, what is your acute management? Does the patient need something like resuscitation in terms of the airway, breathing, and circulation? What symptoms would like to manage? Pain, kan? Hmm. Yes, doctor. Yeah. Ah, pain. So you want to prescribe something killer? Okay. Is the patient septic? 
So sepsis management probably some form of like antibiotics. Okay, antibiotics, taking culture. And what we call as removing source of infection. If the patient is having some form of osteomyelitis, you need to remove it before you do anything else. Okay? The key word here is acute management. Okay? The second key word is revascularization. Okay? The key, the second one, revascularization. Understand? Yes, yes doctor. Okay, so you go back and read what is between open by doing bypass versus endovascular, which is angioplasty, stenting or whatnot. Okay? Okay, doctor. The third one will be wound management because once you have established blood flow, you need to control, you need to make sure that the wound heal. This kind of patient, the wound needs to be healed. So there's general approach to it, there's local approach to it. General means that you need to learn about factors that affect wound healing. Okay, this one you go back and read. What are the factors, general factors that affect wound healing? What are the local factors that affect wound healing? So you will talk about, about, about here. Lastly, it's about managing the risk factor. What risk factor the patient has? Diabetes. Okay, so you need to control his diabetes. Lagi? Uh, hypertension. Uh, hypertension. Lagi? Uh, hypercholesterolemia. Yes, dyslipidemia. Lagi? This underlying heart uh, cardiac problem. Uh, probably you want to screen him for other things. Dyslipidemia. Probably you need some form of antiplatelet. Huh? Yeah, you also, if he's a smoker, he need to stop. Okay? okay. He need to stop. And he also needs to have some form of exercise. He also needs to make sure that the diet is controlled. So all this makes, makes you a good doctor because you are looking through all things. All right? So this is a basic management. You can divide your management into this and then go and expand to it. The key thing is that never stop talking in your exam. Okay? All right. Anything you want to ask? So to the floor, anyone? Mm. If not, I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, so uh, thank you, doctor, for uh, uh, leading our session here today. Mm. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming and listening. So uh, there's a feedback form. Please let us know uh, what you think and how we could improve. Uh, so yeah, thank you, doctor, so much. On yeah, that, of that feedback, if you got anything related to me, send lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. I think it's very good. Thank you, doctor. Yeah, yeah thanks a lot. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Thank you, Doctor.